Okay, and once everything has been installed, we can now move on to creating a script that will read a barcode or QR code. So for now, I'm just going to exit terminal. I'm going to go to programming. I like using Thonny when I'm programming on the Raspberry Pi. Take some time to open, but here it is. So let's create the script for this. So first off, we're going to import. All right. So here we imported uh, CV2, which is uh, OpenCV. And we're also bringing in the PyZBar library. In this case, I want the specific function decode, which will use to decode any found barcodes or QR codes. Now I'm going to initialize uh, two data points. So barcode data. barcode type. So I'm initializing two string variables here. The first one holds the data, so this will be the actual text of the barcode, and then the other one is the barcode type. So this will tell us uh, what type of car barcode it is. For example, if, is it a QR code? Is it a code 128 barcode, which is normally used for world skills? Now the reason I'm initializing the variables is that if a barcode is not found, it doesn't cause a write error when writing to the file at the end of the script. Now we want to actually snap an image of uh, the barcode. So we're going to use OpenCV for this. So capture is equal to cv.video. Now our camera is connected on port 0, so we put 0 as we're using the uh, CSI port. Then cap.set So this is my width. And this is my height. Here we're just setting the uh, frame size of the picture that we want to take. You can of course increase this to get a higher resolution but it, it will take longer to execute depending on the size of the image that you take. Next we want to assign actually snap the image so this will actually take the image and assign it to raw and then because our camera the way that it's mounted right now on my training platform that I'm using to uh, read the image needs to actually be flipped because it's upside down 180 so I'm gonna flip the image so what this will do is it'll f uh, one uh, turn the image itself 180 degrees so that it looks normal. Now you don't actually have to do this when using PyZBar but for debugging purposes it, it makes it easier for us to understand ourselves. And then the last thing I want to do is release the camera as I no longer need it. As if I keep this open that resource is always going to be used but I don't want to use the resource anymore. I just want to take the snap in and out. Now we need to actually look for the barcode. So we're going to create a simple for loop. So for, oops. So what this does is it says for the amount of barcodes, so like found objects inside decode, so what happened is the raw image takes a picture, 
but if there are multiple barcodes inside that image it will find all of them so it'll loop through all of the found barcodes QR codes whatever you have inside the image however I only want the last uh, barcode that's found so by creating the for loop it allows me to loop through to the last one that's found and inside here I'm going to now assign the data so barcode data is equal to barcode So this is important here. So the barcode data is the actual data that is inside was decoded from the image. But we also need to break that data down into an acceptable format. So we're doing decode as UTF-8. This puts it into a string format that makes it easier for us to comprehend and understand based on the raw data that is here. And it makes it a lot easier to also pass that string of what the text is of the data through to the robot. Now for, uh, we also want to see what type it is. So barcode type, this one's simple. This one's just a barcode dot type as this value is already a string and we don't need to handle it. Now for debugging purposes I'm going to put a print statement in here so print found oops, barcode All right, so what this will do is when it finds a barcode and rotates through it, it will print out the statement with the barcode type and then the data that's in the barcode. I'm done with this for loop, so I'll bring it back over. And now we need to actually write to the file. Uh, and to do that, it's very simple in Python. So I'm just going to create a file equals open. Now we're using the home slash pi directory for this for everything. So I'm just going to do dot slash to make sure that everything is in that folder that I want. So barcodes dot txt is what we're going to write to. And I want to use the write function. So that way if the file doesn't exist, it'll create it. And if the file does exist, it'll just write to that file and replace all the current contents. So file dot write. So the first line is going to be the barcode data. Then I want to create a new line. Oops. Now I could do this in this line. However, I want to separate this so it makes it easier for debugging or if I want to add an extra uh, different type of line ending here if required. So and then I'm going to write the second line which is the type and then now that I've written both I'm going to close the file as it needs to close so that my listener script can open it and read it. And by closing it it also saves the file which will be read as, oh, the file is being modified so that we can now read that file as there's a change and do something. All right. So that's the simple script. Let's save this. So it's going to ask me to save as. As you see, I w I'm in home and I'm in the Pi user. I'm going to save this as read barcode dot pi. It's important to put the dot pi designation here for the file type otherwise there will be an issue when we try and run this later. So we're going to hit OK. It's now saved. I can open up my file system 
and I can see that in my home pi user there is the read barcode.py file. So let's simply test this now. I'll minimize this, open up terminal, and we're going to run a read. So I'm going to do Python 3. It's important to use Python 3 and not Python. And then we're going to do read barcode.py. Now my camera is set up in a way that I am looking at the barcode. So now if I hit enter, it'll run the script. And you can see it came back with found QR code, barcode, and then the data here was it QR code text. Now the text of my barcode is QR code text. So now let's test it again, but this time I'm going to put a bar, an actual barcode in front of it. And the barcode that on this one is just another barcode, and it's a code 128. So let's run this again. And you'll see that it's now read that there's a code 128 barcode. And the, the data value of that is another barcode. 